I'm just going to leave the square now, just uh, go down this road a little way. There are more shops down here. There's even a bar open. Anita was telling me that it's very mild where she is in England, she's in the south, she's in Somerset and uh, she said it was 13 degrees and bright sunshine yesterday so uh, she had got a jumper on and a coat on and a scarf on <sighs> no need for jumpers and coats here <laughs> So here's Tino's pub. There's quite a few people in there, so it's good to see. Some of the small businesses will open up. whatever tiny amount of trade that they, they can get. And across the road we've got a tobaccos, a tobacconist. They always open. <laughs> no, that one is by the looks of things. step into the road because obviously there was no traffic but there you go there's a van coming but uh, just looking <laughs> no other vehicles very very quiet <sighs> normally at this time of the year you're looking for a little bit of sun just to warm yourself up a little bit now I'm actually thinking of shade to cool down this time of the year as well, they find the, the councils doing major sort of work and, uh, and all the big industries, so it looks like telephone or electricity doing their work as well. I uh, hope Calvia get their act together and uh, do some of the repairs that they need to do, particularly to the pavements, which are some parts damaged, need a little bit of work on them. It's one of the sounds you will hear is uh, people working. Well, here's a hotel and they've got the workers up there. Time to do the painting. So they're doing all the scraping and uh, all the work that's got to be done. Got quite a lot on there. Keep them busy. Uh, 
Lapura Iberica bar is open. No seats outside, the lights are on inside, maybe they're just going to open up a bit later on. This was a novelty this year, this is uh, the uh, Blacklight Mini Golf, which is uh, a new attraction that only opened this year, an indoor mini golf which has got black light. It's a bit of an oxymoron, black light. It means you glow in the dark. And just in front, these are fountains, which uh, thankfully are not on now. And uh, up above, we've got the inside Magaluf Hotel with the swimming pool up there. Nobody's swimming today, but the water's nice and clean. And uh, it's shimmering in the breeze. Oh, I'm going to move on. to say that's one of the Melia hotels. Starbucks, no Starbucks for me today. It wouldn't be one of my choices anyway. If I want coffee, I think I'd rather go to a Spanish bar. Argentinian grill. look like autumn with all the leaves that are falling. It's quite unusual to see an ATM machine that's working. They're usually closed up now and uh, have a metal shutter over them. So nobody really using those very much. If you are using one, just be careful to see how much you're actually being charged for the use of. He's down here, slammed out a haircut. It's the bus. It's always going to let me come past. Thank you very much, Mr. Bus Driver. It's a hybrid electric bus. So it's got a diesel engine and a battery and it uses a bit of both. Um, news on the hydrogen plant. <laughs> I need to do a video on this again. Um, so I made a video about the hydrogen plant in Yoseta. So it was the old cement factory and they put a load of solar panels and they brought in these um, hydrogen electrolytic cells to produce hydrogen. A very clean way of doing it and uh, got it all working but within no time at all it stopped working and it doesn't seem to have been fixed and we're now 18 months, two years into a broken down hydrogen plant. Well, what absolutely astonished me in the news a week or two ago was that um, the local government there has given a license to another company to build another one on the same site or the same area using the same technology. Why would you do that? It doesn't work. And there's got a lot of money involved. And so they haven't still haven't found a solution to the, the first one. Next time I've not read about one. And they're going to build another one based on the same electromagnetic cells that broke down after a month's use. <sighs> when I find out a little bit more, I'll let you know. But uh, 
I've almost done the circular tour. I'm just on my way back to the car. Say the Guadalupe is looking okay. There is uh, on the very top floor. There's one of the rooms which has got the window open and the table out on the terrace. No, it might be the, there. was one on a lower floor. Huh? I suppose that could be the cleaners, or it could be someone who lives there. the bar that's open. I must say I've not seen or noticed a thermometer to tell you the temperature but my guess is it's around about 24 degrees and uh, I think I'm going to finish the video here by my nose. So, it's been a nice walk around Magaluf, it's very warm, very quiet, very sunny, and uh, well, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.